Oh, I can't stand the mud. Uh, eight. Eight. Just gotta. Hold on a second. Do, do you know what you're doing? No. Oh, do you know what you're doing? Never seen it done this way, I bet. I bet you could say that. All right, we got some expanded metal out of our junk pile over there. And we are using it to clean out the dirt. Get the, the big rocks out. And even some of the smaller ones. This is gonna be for what, Ethan? Well, he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, he, I asked him if he wanted to help make dirt and he's like, yeah, I do. And so here we are, we are making uh, clean dirt here. This is for the water pipes in the trench. This is going to be the bedding for it to sit under it and on top of it. So we've got the four-wheeler and the four-wheeler trailer. That'd be awesome to get this all filled up. It's going to take some time if you can imagine. But it'll all be worth it because then we won't have a bunch of sharp pokey rocks point, poking at our pipe, right? Hey, you took my shovel, little buddy. Where's your shovel? I guess you just keep shoveling, we'll work this stuff. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got you. Uh. I see Kevin. You don't. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Only, only I speak Tasmanian Devil. Oh, I understand it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It wasn't elected. <laughs> she went to a weird I school. Very <laughs> That's some good dirt. Yeah, it does look good. Yeah. Makes me feel good about it. It's secure, I guess. So I got the uh, ground rod in here at an angle because there's no room for one to get the backhoe in here. And another is there are still tons of boulders in the ground. So it's at an angle, sticking up kind of high. I'll just push down a little bit. I only need a little bit sticking out. Uh, one thing about ground rod is if you have a sub panel that is not attached to the same building where your main panel is, then you need another ground rod. That's at least code for here. I think, and I'm pretty sure it's the same everywhere else. I insulated the pipe here because our trench back into here is not at 30 inches. It's at, it's not even at 18 inches. That's like uh, 14 inches. So I insulated it all the way to where it 90s up and then I'll insulate that 90 over there and of course we'll have something to keep the pipe warm down there and we will mound the dirt up higher on top of the pipe here and I went ahead and extended that insulation down into where it is at 30 inches we don't want anything to freeze Oh! <laughs> 
are finally burying our first section of pipe. I'm so excited. <laughs> These trenches have been open for way longer than I ever imagined, but we are burying this first section. First, we sifted through all the dirt to take all the rocks out that goes immediately on top of the pipe, and we did all that by shovel um, and got all the rocks out. That way we don't have anything puncturing our water lines. So. That's about a foot deep. We put the caution tape down for in the future if we're ever digging in this area. We'll hit the caution tape before our line, our water line. So if he's ever digging over here, he'll know to stop if he hits those. So we are getting this filled in. We are here at Marble Canyon. Marble Canyon, that's what it's called, yeah. On our way up to my parents' house for Christmas. So just took a quick Taking stop a by. Quick break and decided yeah. to get some cool drone footage. Yeah. Hope you enjoy.
Here we are, trying out our new kayaks. For Christmas. For Christmas, huh, Kinsey? We're at a pretty cool lake. Not in Arizona, though. Anyone know what lake this is? I'm sure some of you do. It's windy, so I hope you can hear me. Okay. It was flurrying earlier today, and it's kind of turned our dried out dirt into a little bit of mud. And I just, oh, I can't stand the mud. I need to, we're working on filling the trench, and we need to keep, we need to filter some more dirt to go on our water pipes. We don't want any rocks in that dirt. And as you guys saw, we were filtering it with this expanded metal here. I have a few of these pieces left over from a project I, uh, that I did on my um, single axle trailer. I built some foldable sides on it. Anyway, the holes are just a little bigger than what I want. So I'm gonna cut this into two pieces. Well, I'm gonna cut two pieces off of this. I don't need the whole thing. And they just have to be big enough to go over this bucket and I'll I'll take the four corners and kind of fold them over the sides so you could take it and just put it on the bucket and it won't go anywhere so I'll take two pieces and I'll overlap them and weld them weld it all together so that it'll make the holes what's up Darla it'll make the holes smaller to catch more of the rock I don't know if you noticed when we were filtering them through this on our little four-wheeler trailer, I was also picking out rocks that I could find after it went through the filter. So I got to cut this up and weld it, bend it a little bit. It's a quick and easy little project. I think it works great and my uh, boss over here has come to check out my work maybe you look blurry for her. I don't know oh anyway she's checking it out so she's gonna give me a grade on it 
um, on a scale of one to ten. Here we go. Here we go. All right. She got the scoop. Goes for the shake. Shake and bake. There we go. Look at that. Thing's almost full already. Eight. Cool if it was bigger. It would be. You want me to make a big long one to put over the the four wheeler trailer? Well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Okay. We need clean dirt. Yes, we do. We need a lot of it. A lot of it. We want like, well, I want like at least six inches of clean dirt on top of our water pipes. I don't want anything going wrong. <sighs> See, we just got real small chunks that are like the size of pea gravel or even smaller. See this thing? Some of this stuff is just little tiny dirt clods that just are clumped together. So I like this. Yeah. I feel pretty confident. I don't have to go through that. I just take it down there and dump it in. I think it's better than raking our fingers through. Hopefully we get <sighs> yes. all of it. That was that, slow. That was one tactic we did as well <laughs> for the trench that goes over to the hydrant there that you saw us do. That trench, we would spread out scoops and then go through it by hand and pick out the stuff. Yeah. And then the dirt that, we, that was in the four-wheeler was in the trench over here. That's where that went, and it got used up really quick. So, we're gonna try this method. Okay. It's a win. And when you're done, you can grill on it. Put a little fire under there with some rocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brush it off with the broom first. Maybe. I'm taking a break. I got my whoa, my minions here learning how to screen dirt. Oh, and look, just in time, my servant Logan has brought me a, a fresh Dr. Pepper with ice cubes in the freezing cold. <laughs> All right, guys, show me what you got. How efficient are you two? That's some good dirt, huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, we did it with this guy. If any guy. rock is in there, it's basically smaller than pea gravel, huh? Mm hmm Yeah. I just got to Hold on a second. Do, do you know what you're doing? No. Oh. Do you know what you're doing? Well, who and I was going to die, I don't know. I knew I, what I was doing. Okay, with the you shovel. know what? If you don't know what you're doing, I gotta let you go. No. Well, I I do know I'm supposed to because Hogan showed me it. And I was what safe. do you What do you do? Show me. 
I'll get a scoop. So what happens? That goes there. And then a little dirt. Well, that, that's a pretty small scoop, but is that it? Is that it? Is that an easy job? Do you know what you're doing? You do? Eli. I think you do. All right, now it's really topped off. Hey, explain to everyone what's happening here. What's happening is we're dumping all the dirt into our cranes so we can kind of not squish the pipes when we're rocking in it. And it's more likely on, on the other tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be freezing. Well, we cold. It's not going to be that cold tomorrow. I don't think it is. Nope. All right, let's keep going. Is that good? Now that's enough. Okay. We just finished filtering all that material I just showed you. There was one big long berm across here. We filtered it all. It all went into the trench. Now we can go to another spot and start filtering. And you may think that after filtering all this, hey, that's some pretty good gravel now that you got there. Actually, a lot of that little stuff is not gravel. It is clumps of dirt. Oh, that, it's a clump of dirt, but it's a really hard clump of dirt. Ugh, see, I broke it in half there. But a ton of this stuff is just dirt. So not um, usable for gravel. This is dirt. That is dirt. So we screened that out of the way. We don't want to take the time to separate actual rock and gravel from these little dirt clumps. That would take forever, so... We just filtered out the fine stuff, and it's really good stuff. Here is our progress so far. We've made it to here, and we've gone all the way down, all the way to the trailer with filtered dirt. It's about five or six inches thick, so we just got to get this area here and around the tank. And I've got Mackenzie. Say hi. <laughs> She's gonna be the screener. So, here we go. Made it to the box.
Oh, it's bright. I know, it's blinding. We've got our headlamps pointing at us. We're in the yeah. dark. What what time is it? Like it's seven? Seven o'clock. Yeah, seven o'clock. We made it to the end. We just finished putting clean fill dirt on our water pipes. Yeah. And it had to have been at least a dump truck load. <laughs> Because we got so we got tons of pipe that we had to cover. Oh my goodness! So and much. I've been working on it constantly for the last three day three days or so. But we have snow and rain coming for the next three days. Tomorrow. So starting so, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. So first thing. So we wanted to get to the end of this this filter while it was dry instead yes. of because you soaking. can't filter mud. Yeah. <laughs> so we made it to the end. We Hope, made our goal. Hopefully the weather isn't that bad and we could come back out here and keep, keep chugging going. along because next we can put down our electrical pipe. Yes, that'll so, be exciting. A dump truck load of dirt with this. Filtered through. <laughs> filtered through this. You guys saw me make this and then into a five gallon bucket. Yep. If we weren't trying to beat weather, I would have counted how many buckets we did. It had to have been. Just, oh my god! I don't even know. I, yeah. You just keep over two hundred. <laughs> but yeah, this this came in handy. We it like did, we it like. It did that. work out pretty well. So. <sighs> anyway, Alrighty. that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching us filter dirt. We uh, we're probably the most entertaining people to to do it on YouTube. <laughs> most definitely. Dirt filtering. So. Never seen it done this way. I bet. I bet you could say that. Nobody filters dirt like that. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. See ya.